So here it is, it's the golden card from the town of Greenwich. It says that we passed all the inspection, plumbing, electrical, and structural. I can't wait to show you all the installation and finishes inside. Come with me. Welcome to the Greenwich House. This is now a beautiful entry that says all about bright, open, and airy space. It used to be dark and dingy in here. We raised it all up 22 feet up in the air, and remember when Mark and his team came and they installed those four glass panels up above? I installed three additional large LED light panels up on top in the attic. Another thing are these beautiful Geldwin windows and doors. In back of me, we have frosted glass. So light comes in, but you also have a degree of privacy. Above it is just simple glass windows. And to give this foyer the kiss is this gorgeous Hubbard and Forge made chandelier. Over here in the dining room, it was very important to make this a very open space. Keeping in step with today's living, this whole area becomes one open concept space. Heading into the kitchen, there's a lot to discuss here, starting with a really good, well-designed center island. Moving over to this site is our cleanup sink. It's a gorgeous farm sink. I love farm sinks. We know appliances are one of the most energy consumptive elements in a house. That's one very important reason why I chose Miele, because they are known for very efficient energy consumption. Now, what clogs up your refrigerator when you think about it? It's always the drinks. So on the other side over here, in easy reach from the family room, we have a separate beverage fridge. Here in the family room, we have a beautiful stone surround to bring the outside in, and also a fireplace, a linear modern fireplace, and a home theater. So the third space here is our porch. A large, beautifully designed porch with, of course, speakers in the ceiling and yet another television. This is our Sunbright outdoor TV so that you can have friends and family come over for great outside entertainment. So let's head into one of the rooms that is basically the way it was, the living room. One of the details that turned out even better than I expected is the eyeline from Interstate. It's the new molding line that they have. In fact, the Greenwich House was the first ever to receive it. So as we touched upon, this is an open, airy space. It's dramatic as you go upstairs. Celeste, our chandelier right here, connecting you with the view out to the front as you then continue on into the master bedroom. Throughout the house, we have natural white oak floors. And looking up, we have a tray ceiling just to get even more height. And the size of the space is pretty ample because we have a full king-size bed here and you can certainly have other furniture in the room as well. So heading into the closet is a his and her layout, well designed using every square inch available and of course even having built-in dresser space here. Moving on is the master bath. Boy, I love this. This is the soaker tub. Imagine sitting in here and just dreaming into the gorgeous stone wall that we have outside. Over on this side, we have what I call the kids area. Two bedrooms and their separate bath. So what's a little different about this bath, it has a trough sink, wall-mounted fixtures in the front part, and then the door to the toilet and shower tub area. In other words, the wet part is separate from the sink up front. Now let's head over to the teenage wing. We have a closet to the left and there's a very large bedroom right over here. This is where the bath is and a couple of interesting things. Modern tile, very black and white kind of layout and then this super cool eco line from Cosentino as our countertop here. It has a little sparkle, it's just the right thing. So now let's head to the guest wing right below us. 
So this entire wing has a couple of really interesting details. Entering here, you have this nice curved wall. Coming all the way through is the guest bedroom. And here I did something else with closet. You will see there are individual closet units. So they're a little bit more like furniture in the room, not so much the regular well-known built-in closet. And over here is the bathroom, which I love the color palette. So let's head over to the home office. It's a small space, but organized by Herka cabinetry, all ready for the office with a beautiful shelf area on one side. Coming down here, I could go straight into the lower level and into this mudroom area. Who doesn't need a mudroom? We all do. So come in here, kick off all the wet gear and off you go into the house. But this is what I find so interesting. Look at this garage. It has an epoxy floor, new floor. You can do it in any garage floor. It will transform your garage. As I come into this area, this is where the old mechanical room was. It really chopped up the entire space. But look at it now. You can basically freely move around here. Beautiful hardwood floor underneath it. And here, of course, is part of our new mechanical space. This is what I call the brain of the house, our Creston home automation system lives there and then of course over here we have all the in the new mechanical room it's organized electric geothermal heating and uh, water tank all organized in the space neatly by code with beautiful ceiling and beautiful flooring why not make a mechanical room just as beautiful as all the other rooms mm -hmm.